The purpose of this section is to describe the inventory management process that needs to be followed in order to stay in good standing with NCCER. Uh, inventory management is essential to maintaining the integrity of the testing program. You are required as an administrator to make sure that you maintain tight control over the assessments that have been assigned to your accredited assessment center. You can keep your records either inside of archive or offline. It is recommended that you keep those records offline or let's say in an electronic file outside of archive. The reason for this is that archive only tracks those interactions that it is aware that have happened. For example, once you administer a paper pencil test, you know that the test has been administered, but archive is unaware that the test has been administered until such time as that test has been faxed and scored. Likewise, if there's been any destruction of the assessments, let's say due to natural disaster like a flood or fire, archive will still indicate that uh, those examinations are ready to be administered and yet you might have other knowledge uh, as to what's happened. And so if you have an offline record, you can keep track of those unique occurrences so that uh, at such time as you're audited as part of the regular assessment program, you can point to your records and indicate why there might be a discrepancy or between archive and what you have in your system. Now, you can access the status of any paper, pencil, or computer tests at any time inside of Archive, and you can do that by uh, following several logs, which we'll show you in just a moment. Also, it's important to note that you will be prompted on a monthly basis by email to check your inventory. Now, checking inventory means that you go through your logs, you account for all the exams, paper, pencil, or computer, that you have your destruction logs completed, and when you've done that, you can simply select a checkbox inside of Archive that indicates that you have tracked your inventory. If you fail to track your inventory, if you fail to actually indicate that your inventory has been checked, you will be locked out of the system and you will not be allowed back into the system until you've completed the full annual inventory and submitted that to NCCER, at which time uh, your inventory will be released and you can access the system again. Now, to get this information, what you'll do is you'll go into Archive, you'll select My Inventory, you'll then select the Find Inventory menu option, you'll then change the status in the search window to Key Created, which will allow you to search for unused inventory. You can then select the site name if you're selecting information for a particular assessment center or uh, sub-account. You then press Find Inventory. You can cut and paste this information to into Excel if you're looking for a few exams. I'll also demonstrate the process of getting all of your inventory by selecting or using the Assessment Inventory Spreadsheet menu option. So for within Archive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select My Inventory. I'll come down to Find Inventory. I'm going to click Find Assessment Details. All right, you'll notice here that I have a series of examinations that are unused. I have the name of the organization that ordered it, the name of the test, the type, the unique exam key, the serial number, this current status, the date when it was created, the order number, etc. And I could copy this information and I could paste it into Excel. What I'll also show you, however, is that you can go to My Inventory under Assessment Inventory Spreadsheet. I'm going to include subaccount data in Mayberry. I'll click Create Spreadsheet and it creates a hyperlink. I'll then click that hyperlink All right, the system has opened up a spreadsheet that contains all of the testing information. Shows me 259 exams. And has all the same detail that was contained in the prior report. I could copy this information and just kind of keep this as an ongoing log of the information that's in my inventory. If, as a user, if I wanted to change information, if I wanted to look for scheduled not started or in progress or they're completed, 
I could likewise change that information and then open up another spreadsheet and continue to add this information as orders came in uh, to kind of maintain my inventory. On a monthly basis, uh, the check inventory menu option will appear. And so when you, when you go to select your inventory, simply select I certify and click the submit button. And then this window will be gone and NCCR will be notified that your inventory has been checked.